The Leaning Tower of Pisa, which is one of the most remarkable architectural structure of medieval Europe. It is located in the Italian town of Pisa, one of the most visited cities in Europe. It's me Himanshu and welcome to Ramble and Curry. Let's do together this wonderful monument, which we had visited last summer. And stay tuned till end of the video to know the interesting fact about this monument. If you're new here, I would like to welcome you and also request to kindly subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you are notified whenever there is a new video uploaded. It will be monumental if you can like, share and comment on this video. So without further ado, let's get started. On the way to the Naples train station, we got to see a glimpse of Mount Vesuvius, which is the only active volcano on the European mainland. Naples railway station is the main railway station in the city of Naples and is the sixth largest station in Italy. The first station on the site was built in 1866. We took the high speed train from Naples to Florence, where in 3 hours and 6 minutes it covered a distance of whooping 471 kilometers. And at times the highest speed of the train was 251 kilometers per hour. In the train, we were welcomed with a small bag which consists of a mask, sanitizer, a cup, and water along with an instruction manual. As we were approaching Florence Station, we could see another high-speed train entering the station almost at the same pace. After reaching Florence train station, which is also known as the Prienzi Santa Maria Novella station, we took another train to Pisa Central, where the journey was about 1 hour 20 minutes. From Pisa Central train station, you can get buses to Leaning Tower of Pisa or get into a taxi. The taxi would charge approximately 10 euros and you can reach the destination in 10 minutes. Right before the entrance of Leaning Tower of Pisa, there are many shops from where gift items can be purchased. The Leaning Tower of Pisa has long fascinated visitors from around the world. Tourists arrived here to take photos creating the optical illusion of supporting the tilted building. The tower is part of a cathedral complex. Leaning Tower of Pisa is famous for settling off its foundation, which caused it to lean 5.5 degrees from the perpendicular in the late 20th century. Extensive work has been subsequently done to straighten the tower and its lean was ultimately reduced to less than 4 degrees. The bell tower began in 1173 as the third and the final structure of the city's cathedral complex was designed to stand 185 feet high and was constructed of white marbles. Three of its eight stories had been completed when the uneven settling of the building's foundation in the soft ground was noticed. At the time, war broke out between the Italian city-state and the construction was halted for almost a century. This allowed the tower's foundation to settle and likely prevented this early collapse. The foundation had been strengthened by the injection of cement and various types of bracing and reinforcement. But in the late 20th century, the structure was still subsiding at a rate of 0.05 inches per year and was in danger of collapse. In 1990, the tower was closed and all the bells silenced as engineers undertook a major project. Earth was chiffoned from underneath the foundation, decreasing the lean by 17 inches to 13.5 feet. The work was completed in May 2001 and the structure was reopened to visitors. 
If you have enjoyed the video so far, kindly subscribe the channel and you can also follow me on Instagram. In May 2008 sensors showed that the motion had finally stopped at a total improvement of almost 19 inches. Ingenious expect the tower to remain stable for at least 200 years from now. The day finally ended with an amazing stake in Trattore della Costa in Florence, which ranks 42nd in the world's best steak restaurants.